Hi guys, got a little project. Um, a fellow YouTuber by uh, the name of Fran Blanche, or Blanche as she calls herself, um, is making a Apollo AGC Disky display, um, an exact replica if she can. And she's having a bit of problem with uh, finding components, and there is some small connectors that. Uh, or non-existent I guess now because it's 1960s technology and it sparked my interest in casting very fine um, pins and stuff so I went to my local um, 3D printer here uh, it's Matter Things in uh, Pancour, Quebec it's the only one in Canada and I'm fortunate to have it in my area and I was going to have a, a pin, set of pins made and uh, in one part and try and cast it. But uh, Jose there, he said, well, just use the raw material and we'll see what comes out of it. And I uh, also had a newer product uh, made, a pin made out of a new product. It's uh, from Form Labs, and uh, they use the Form One resin printer, and uh, it's a liquid, and it prints in reverse, which is kind of interesting. Instead of the wire feed or plastic wire feed, uh, I think the material is uh, methacrylate photopolymer resin. I'm reading from a little cheat sheet. Anyways, let's see. Uh, if I've had a successful casting. This is the second time I've tried it and uh, the first time was a total failure, total disaster. Let's see what I got. Well, failure number one. See I was trying to have the aluminum flow down here. The plastic has melted out and I've just put it in a plaster of Paris uh, casing so it would uh, not take on the uh, rough appearance of the uh, sand casting. So that's number one. Failure. Let's try number two. Looks like another failure. Well we got some partial melting but it failed to go through. Well, oh, it's not looking good. <laughs> and failure number three. Three for three. Here the uh, material didn't even uh, melt. This is the resin, uh, printed resin. So I'll have to try a different technique again to try and get this. First time I tried uh, the pieces horizontal with sprues coming in from each side but it didn't flow and I was trying gravity feed and with a small, there was wax down here to make a small cavity for the overflow but uh, well that didn't work. So. Till next time guys, uh, I'll do some more experiments and uh, keep you informed. This part's still good so I might be able to recover. It's just a support structure that was from a, another printed part. And there goes my sump pump. So that's it for tonight guys and till next time, take care.